today we're going to make a classic, the margarita. For this drink, you're going to need a coupe glass, a jigger, a fine mesh trainer, a cocktail shaker, a citrus juicer, and a cutting board and a small knife. This drink uses tequila, Cointreau, freshly squeezed lime juice, and optionally, salt for the rim. This is arguably the most famous cocktail in the world. It's often been bastardized, made poorly, turned into a giant slurpy ice cream headache, but when made well, lives up to its level of celebrity. This drink has a murky origin that's hard to pin down. It's certainly similar to a sidecar, which is the usual comparison. In the UK, a recipe for this combination of ingredients was put into print as early as 1937, but was called the Picador. Several other people from Los Angeles to Tijuana claimed to have invented it. They all had a story about how they came up with the name, which usually involved naming it after a lady who ordered an off-menu tequila drink. A more likely scenario was that the drink came from a lot of different sources, and was based on a category of drinks that date back to the 1870s called the Daisy. This category of drinks would commonly combine citrus juice, orange liqueur, and a spirit. Originally intended as a whiskey drink, it evolved into a common category like a flip, or a Collins, or a punch, or a fizz. It just became a template to plug a spirit into. You'd have the whiskey daisy, the gin daisy, the brandy daisy, so this drink would qualify as a tequila daisy, which is fitting considering the Spanish word for daisy is margarita. However it got its start, the drink had firmly caught on by the early 1960s and started getting mutated a decade later. It was being made as a sweet and sour mixed slushy and served in a giant novelty glass. It became a parody of itself. This recipe is a throwback, a simpler, cleaner version. The margaritas of the 70s and 80s were typically being made with mixto tequila, a hybrid of agave distillate and other distillate like sugar cane, plus things like coloring, syrup, and glycerin. Anything that doesn't say 100% agave is a mixto. You definitely want to use a good, flavorful 100% agave tequila for this drink. One that's bold and earthy, and can stand up to the sharp flavors of the lime and orange liqueur. Some recipes call for a reposado tequila, but a well-made blanco or silver with a full-bodied flavor will work just fine. I'm using Cointreau for this drink. You can use another orange liqueur, but because it's such a big part of the flavor of the drink, make sure it's a quality one. It can make a difference between a good margarita and a bad one. Besides, even the Picador specifically called for Cointreau. The salt rim is optional. Despite the fact that I don't usually prefer the sugar rim on a sidecar, I'm certainly an advocate for the salt rim on the margarita. It adds the perfect third dimension to the sour and sweet framework of the drink. Although normally I wouldn't lay it on so thick, the salt rim works best when it's just a little more sparse. It's just that this dense layer of salt works better on camera. Before I get started, I like to cut, squeeze, strain, and bottle my lime juice. That way it's easier to pour when it comes time to measure. If you're doing salt, start by rimming the glass. Cut a lime wedge. Rub it along the outer lip of the glass. You'll want to make sure that the lime juice, and more importantly the salt, does not make it in the glass. Then roll the glass in the salt until it makes it all the way around. If you want to make it a little more presentable, just use a napkin or a cloth and wipe up the uneven edges. That way you'll end up with a cleaner rim of salt. After that we'll chill the glass. Fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Next measure two ounces of tequila. Add that to the shaker. With this jigger that's two pours. Measure an ounce of Cointreau. Add that to the shaker. Measure three quarter ounce of lime juice. Add that to the shaker. Add ice and give it a good shake to chill it down and give it some dilution. Dump the ice in your coupe glass. Then double strain the contents of your shaker into your chilled cocktail glass. The fine mesh strainer will catch any little bits of ice and help give the drink a cleaner appearance. And there you have it. The margarita. Made well. Salud. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe. And check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.